Hey there, Pokemon investigators. Welcome back. You are with Pewter City Gym, and we are here to play Detective Pikachu Returns. Um, so in the last episode, we got a really cool cutscene with all of the friends that we've made along the way. Not, uh, not, not Garbodor, but Growlithe, Luxray, Darmanitan, Pangoro. Um, all of them just rolling up on the scene with Pikachu and Toe. It was, it was actually really cool. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it because it was just a neat little moment. Um, so we are here at the abandoned Unitas facility and we're going to start interviewing some of the, uh, some of the Pokemon that have been, uh, hanging out around here, see what they know. And we will start with one of my favorites, Garbodor. Garbage Gourmand. Yeah, baby, he knows, he knows all the best trash to eat. It's a Garbodor. What's it saying? He's just at the dose of himself. That janitor over there is his partner. Oh, okay. Garbodor eats garbage, so I'm sure he's a huge help with custodial work. Man, that would be amazing to have a Garbodor as a partner as a janitor. That'd be awesome. I guess that also means he comes here often. Yeah, he might know something. Let's ask. Do you have time to talk, Garbodor? About you, Garbodor. Nah. You helped the janitor pick up trash. Sounds like you're a hog worker. <laughs> you don't expect to be praised just for collecting snacks? All right, trash is like a treat for you. Just like that trubbish we met the other day. About the building. Have you ever seen any other humans here? <laughs> he says he's never seen any other humans besides the janitor. That tracks with what the janitor said. Is there any way to get inside that building? Ah, uh, it's never been inside. Gotcha. Well, that doesn't help us. Really? The janitor's just for the outside? That's weird. Hmm. Have you noticed anything strange around here lately? Anything at all? Sometimes you find strange snacks. Sorry, but we're not here to talk about your snacks. Hmm? Is this one of the snacks you found today? It's a food wrapper. Yeah, kind of weird that uh, in a place with no people. Why would a used food wrapper be here if people don't come here? What? You find these all the time. Even though no one comes here? Hey, Garboda, mind if we keep this? We can give you some other trash in exchange. God. Thanks, Garboda. This could be the clue we've been looking for. A used food wrapper at a facility no one ever goes to. What could it mean? All right. So that's that. I don't think we missed anybody over here. I mean, I guess we could talk to Pikachu's friends real quick. Thanks for coming all this way. Darman. He says it's only natural to help a friend in need. Door. We're grateful for your help, Darmanitan. Alright, so it's just going to be stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, Diglett! Diglett dig, Diglett dig. Aw, subterranean denizen. That's such a cute little voice. Dig. It's a Diglett. These Pokemon live in the ground. Huh, guess that also includes leveled and developed places like this. Do you mind if we ask you some questions, Diglett? Dig. About you, Diglett. Do you live here? Dig. Ah, this place is nice because it's comfy digging, eh? Diglett, dig. And it's nice being able to dig as much as you want without any humans around there. Eh? Humans don't usually consider Diglett to be pests, you know. Farmers especially love Diglett. The soil is always perfectly tilled after you dig through it. Dig? Yeah, for real. Don't be afraid to visit places with humans around. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Oh my god, that voice. Diggle. Diggly dig, diggly dig. Diglett hasn't seen any people around, but it did mention something pretty interesting. What did it say? Sometimes, at night, when Diglett's on the ground and trying to sleep, it hears a lot of noise. Noise underground, you mean? Dig! Yep, 
they got curious about the noise and went into the building to check it out, but no one was there. When it went back on the ground, though, it could still hear the noise. Noise when nobody's there? Strange. Wait, how did you get inside the building? Dig. It says it dug a hole through the floor of the building. I mean, yeah, that's probably, like, I don't feel like humans are going to like that very much. <laughs> wow, it's surprisingly powerful to be able to dig into a building from underneath. I wonder what that sound on the ground was. All right, that's all we got here. And I think the only other one is to, you know, I can't resist. We're going to talk to good girl. Oh. I'm glad you came. Oh. She's been wanting to do something to thank us for helping solve the jewel theft case. Oh, that's totally not necessary, but thank you, Growlithe, really. Oh. Thanks for having our backs. All right. We got Growlithe on our six, gang. <laughs> Out for a stroll. He's taking a stroll. Tenga. Oh, you live here. Then you must know a lot about the place. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tangela. About you, Tangela. What do you do for fun around here? Tangalala. Sunbathing, huh? Sounds nice and peaceful. I bet that feels great. About the building. Tangle, tangle. You've never seen any other people around here besides the janitor? Wait a second, there's something caught in Tangela's vines. They're shards of glass. How did those get there? Tangela. You think they might have gotten on you when you went inside the building? Let's get those off this poor thing. Wait, you've been inside? Hey, Tangela, how did you get inside? Tangela. The door's right near us? Yeah, those are the ones that opened a little bit. So I guess it just kind of pushed its way through. These smaller doors, huh? Tanga, tanga. What? Those doors were unlocked until just recently? So now they're locked and you can't get in anymore. This place has supposedly been shut down for ages. Why would these doors be locked all of a sudden? I don't know, but it definitely raises some questions. Alright. Tangler was talking about those small doors right there, yeah? Let's turn our attention there, Tim. When we tried to open them earlier, they were chained shut. Let's try again now. I mean, Pikachu can probably get in the space. These small doors are definitely the ones Tangler told us about. There's a chain or something on the other side keeping them from opening. So they're locked from the inside. What's going on? Hmm... It's strange that these doors were unlocked until recently. Who locked these doors? Well, well I think we've checked everything we can for now. What do you think, Pikachu? Is Unitas really here? Yeah, I think chances are pretty good they're using this place as their base. I got a few reasons for thinking that. The first is Diglett's story about the noises it heard coming from the building. The second is what Tangela said about those smaller doors being locked from inside. And the third is the food wrapper that Gob Oda found. Any one of those things on their own wouldn't mean much. But taken all together, we can pretty safely conclude that there are people here. Exactly. I think those things are linked by more than coincidence. Guess we really do need to look around inside. Alright, let's begin deducing. So the next thing we gotta figure out is how to get inside. Yeah, the whole place is closed up and locked down. Since walking in through the front entrance is a no-go, let's think of another way. Got any bright ideas? Um, yeah, I would say Diglett's Tunnel. Did you think of a way to, for us to get inside the building? Yeah. Pikachu goes in through Diglett's Tunnel and unlocks the door. What? Maybe we can use the hole that Diglett dug. You mean crawl through that hole to get inside the building? Love where your head's at, but don't you think the hole might be too small for us? Not for you. I've seen you go through little tiny vents. Huh, now that you mention it, if the hole's only big enough for Diglett, then yeah. Hey, don't look so down, Tim. Just think of some other way. Hmm. Did you think of a way to get inside the building? I mean... 
Can we get in through the small doors? Tangler apparently entered through the small doors in front of the building. Maybe we could use those. Find out where someone has been entering and leaving. New trash was found on the ground, so there must be a way in and out of the building that someone's been using. We may be able to find that way inside if we get a Pokemon to help us. Let's do that then. Okay, okay. all right. The food wrapper Garbodor found. It looked like it had been discarded pretty recently. True, and this place does get cleaned regularly. So that trash couldn't have been left here that long ago. But the janitor said we're the first people he's ever seen here. Maybe the trash blew in from somewhere. But there aren't any houses or other facilities nearby. Unless the trash came from inside the lab and got blown out here? Eh, hey, you might be onto something. In that case, if we follow the scent of this wrapper, maybe we can find the entrance. Yeah, since it's relatively new trash, the scent is probably still fresh. I'd say it's worth a try. Alright. I still think Pikachu could have probably gotten in through the hole and found a window or something to let us in, but, you know, what do I know? I just work here. If we're hoping to follow a scent, then it's time to ask for Growlithe's help. Agreed. Good thing I asked her to come. Now, let's go... Let's go... Now, let's go ask her. Can't read today, my gosh. Go. Hey, Growlithe, we need your help with something. We'd like you to track down the scent from the wrapper. Go. Oh. Piece of cake, huh? Just what I wanted to hear. You okay with us going right to it, Tim? Yes. Mm -hmm. Please do. Okay, let's do it. Just like last time, Growlithe. Growl. Hey. Can you try tracking the scent from around the small door by Tangler? Sure can. All right, we're holding R to sniff. Oh, here we go. We found it. Oh my gosh, Growlithe is so cute. Friend of the channel, Tack Claw, uh, did a, um, a run in either Scarlet or Violet, I forget, but it was all puppies. And uh, since they mentioned that, I, uh, I have been kind of itching to do an all puppy team in a game. So, maybe that'll be a thing. Huh? The scent suddenly disappeared. It disappeared? Well, sort of. It's more like the scent goes on past this point, actually. Past these steel drums, you mean? I guess we better do something about them if we want to go any farther. Let's go get Tim and the others. Mm -hmm. Pikachu says the scent continues past here. But there's no way to get back there to search. Yeah, it'd take all day to move this many steel drums. I uh, guess we're gonna have to get smashy. What? You gotta be kidding. I know it's a rough approach, but we don't have time to dawdle. The drums at least seem to be empty, so I'm sure we can enlist one of our pals to help. Have you always approached your investigations this way? Depends on the situation. It's a great detective's job to find the shortest route to the truth. So, who should we ask for help? Um, I think it's going to be either Darmanitan or Pangoro. Pangoro is strength puzzles, Darmanitan is smashy, so... Darman. He says he can handle anything that calls for brute strength. In that case, I think Darmanitan's definitely the best one to ask for help with this. Want to get started right away, Tim? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be careful not to hurt yourself. We're counting on that strength of yours, Darmanitan. You ready to do this? Darman. R to punch. I mean, that does it. Ha ha! There we go. There's a hole in the wall. I wonder if that trash from before blew out of here. Yeah, I think it did. Me and Pangoro won't fit through that hole. So we'll have to smash open the bigger one. Whoa, whoa, if you do that, the whole building could collapse. We'll unlock the doors from inside. For now, you two can just wait here. If you say so. Tim, check this out. Mm -hmm. You're right, it looks like we can get inside through this hole. Are you ready to head in, Tim? Of course, that's why we're here. All right, let's do it. Ooh, the lab lobby. 
getting kind of Fallout vibes from this. Are the Protectrons going to come out and start shooting at me? So this is what the inside of the lab looks like. It sure is messed up. Did you hear me, Pikachu? Huh? Oh, uh, I was just so shocked by how trash this place is. Kind of speechless. Yeah, I know they weren't doing any upkeep, but could it really get this bad in just two years? So this is where it happened. What's up, Rachel? This must be where the Pokemon went berserk during the R incident two years ago. That's why there's a hole in the wall and the room's in such disarray. I see. This place must have been just left just as it was at the time of the incident. Mama must have been. Are you okay, Rachel? If being here is too painful, it's totally fine if you want to wait outside. I think I just need a moment to myself, if that's all right. I thought I was ready for this, but it's hitting me harder than I expected. Give her a hug, Tim. My gosh. Take your time. I understand. Poor girl. I'm sure she would have preferred to steer clear of this place. But all signs point to Unitas being here. Let's start looking for clues. Right. Huh. Something felt strange when I came into this room. What could that have been? All right. So, are we... Okay, Luxray's here. Are we able to open a door to let our friends in? This must be the door Tangela was talking about. I assume we would be able to open it from the inside, but it's got a lock on it. This door's the only way Pangaro and Darmanitan can get inside. We'll have to find the key. Alright, so we're going to look for the key as well. Uh, there's a note here. Read it aloud, would ya? From the management team regarding search procedures. Upon discovery of the object in question, collect it immediately. Once the object is collected, use concrete to seal off the first floor hallway. Please be aware of the following. Destroy the switchboard on the first floor. Do not leave any trash behind, such as food or drink containers. Due to the building's dilapidated state, watch your step as you move about. These appear to be instructions of some kind. What do you suppose this management team is? I have no idea. But at least we know for sure that people have been here. Yeah, we still don't know what's been or who's been here or how many of them there are, but they were clearly following orders to search for something. But how did they get out of here? Good question. The door was locked from the inside. And why did the note say to seal off a hallway with concrete? There's still a lot we don't understand. Let's keep investigating. Why are they sealing off entire uh, corridors with concrete but they left a big gaping hole in the wall and they were just like yeah we'll just put some drums there that's probably fine <laughs> a lab scientist must have used this cupboard what's up there i can't see what's on the shelves you gotta tell me wait a second i'm looking looks like just chemicals and stuff oh what's this it's a key maybe this is the key to the way in looks like it might fit yeah let's try it okay let's go do that I just want to make sure that our friends can get in. Just in case we need them. These are the doors that we couldn't open because of the chain. I hope this key opens the lock on the chain. Well, no, unless we try. I'll just put the key in the lock. Nice. All right, that takes care of the chain. Perfect. Door. 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 Sorry to keep you through waiting. Okay, perfect. All the, the whole gang is here. Now all we have to do is investigate in the room. Yeah, keep a sharp eye out for anything unusual. Alright, so... We got this note. Anything here? Oh. oh. What do you think this stain is? Kind of looks like a chemical spill or something. Maybe some chemical spill during the Pokemon Rampage. Based on the smell and how dusty it is, I'm guessing this isn't a recent stain. Okay. Is it R? Still, we don't know what chemical this was. We'd better not touch it. Yeah, it looks purple, so I think it is R. Okay, Darmanitan's chilling out over here. Is there... Okay, yeah, there is something in behind him to look at. Everything's a mess inside the cabinets. This wasn't done by a rampaging Pokemon. Someone must have been searching the room for something. The switchboard panel is open. 
It's completely busted inside. I guess this is why there's no electricity. Their note said to destroy the switchboard on the first floor, remember? So someone did this on purpose. But why would they need to do this? They probably wanted to make it look like the first floor didn't have electricity. To make this place look shut down and abandoned? I think so. It seems pretty likely. Especially since that note seemed to contain instructions for keeping something hidden. Alright. Let's see, there's another shelf over here. What do you suppose these chemicals are used for? Careful, Tim. The last thing we need for you right now is you hurting yourself. Yeah, I know. You worry too much. Okay. Let me know if you see anything strange. I can't see what's up there from down here. If I see anything, you'll be the first to know. Okay, we already looked at that one. That's where we got the key, so let's look at these broken oh. tiles. Look, footprints. Are they human? Couldn't be. They're too big. There's no dust over them either, so they must be recent. I think these are probably Tangler's footprints. Yeah, Tangler does have those big shoes. Those big, weird shoes. I see. It must have left these footprints when it came inside. Oh. Look, Pikachu, there's another food wrapper on the floor. It's the same one we got from Garbodo. That means this trash is another piece of evidence that people have been in and out of this place. Alright. Yeah, and there might be more proof, too. Let's keep looking. So, Tim, what are your thoughts after looking the room over? It's pretty clear that someone's been coming in here. And, based on that note, we know they had a purpose for doing so. Right. We're, right on, we're light on details, but we know something fishy's going on. We should try to figure out what exactly happened here. Okay. Based on the note we saw on the desk, we can safely assume that someone was given instructions. But what were the people here actually up to? If we can figure that out, we might learn something useful about Unitas. Why don't you tell me what you think, Tim? Begin deducing. Hmm. Did we find any clues about what was going on here? Uh, let's see. Somebody sealed off a hallway in the back. A note found in the lab mentioned a hallway that had been sealed up with concrete. That's true. What happened in this building? Someone has been living here. The most likely reason there's trash in this abandoned building is because someone has been living here. Someone was researching R. Chemicals have been left behind, which means somebody may have been researching R. This place is being used as a Pokemon playground. Um, I think it's either this one. Well, the only one we know for sure is this. Okay. The note we found said something about sealing off a hallway with concrete. That must mean there's a hidden hallway somewhere on this floor. Sealing off a whole hallway seems pretty extreme. All the more reason for us to find it. Okay. If we're looking for a hallway that's been sealed up, we should probably ask one of our friends for help. Yeah, let's go ask. And we will in the next episode. Hey, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, trainers. I really do appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one. But till then, take care. Bye.